All right, welcome back to hopefully the final installment in this series. Um, but I just wanted to make one that talked a little bit about mitmap seam problems and, and an easy way to fix those. And if you're not familiar with mitmaps, um, in a game, sometimes when, when objects are further away, the texture will, will scale down. And I can actually emulate this. Give me a second here. Um, so if I do limit size to 128, um, it's going to basically pretend that this texture is 128 instead of 512 and when it does that this actually isn't bad at all um, but you can see a little bit of the black is bleeding in here just because it's you know it's scaled down so um, I just don't have enough bleed room for my for my seams so that's what we're going to be fixing and to do that the first thing that we want to do is uh, rebake this onto a transparent background so all we need to do is tab into edit mode, select everything, hit new, and I can actually move this, I forgot about that earlier. And I can do 512 and make sure that alpha is checked, it should be by default, and then hit OK. And then go over to the render panel, all the way at the bottom is the bake, and you can select textures, uh, margin, I only need about four, and uh, you can bake it out as it is. Um, but if you just do it that way, it's going to be a little bit blurry. And I don't know if you can see that or not. This is my original painting. This is the bake, and it, it blurred it a little bit. To avoid that, what you need to do is go into your texture, and then down under image sampling, make sure you uncheck interpolation. And then if we just rebake it again, it'll be a sharper image. Basically exactly what I painted. Um... I have a little visual glitch on my system and I can't see the checker background, but this is transparent even though it doesn't look like it is. So then what I want to do is save out an image, or save out this image, rather. And I'll just name it Dagger Diffuse Bake. And then I want to flip over to Krita and open that. And in here you can definitely see it's on a transparent background. So in here I just want to run a single filter on it, and if you're using 2.8 it will be in the layer menu, it'll say apply gmic action. Uh, in 2.9 it looks like they're moving it, I'm using a development version when I'm recording this, um, but it's going to be right here in the filter menu, which I think makes a lot more sense. And then what you want to do is you want to go down to repair, and go to, what am I looking for, in paint solidify, and then hit OK, and just let it run. It's working down here and you can see it just bleeds all those colors into each other into that alpha channel um, so now I don't have any any black at all so when it does scale down or whatever it's just gonna pick this color that's already near the edge anyway so it should clear out my seam so I'm just gonna override that save that bake texture we'll go back over into blender and I will reload it into here and I'll go back into texture paint mode and you can see that those seams are now gone those little black s seams that were in there on both the top and bottom so a really easy way to fix that it makes your texture look quite a bit uglier but um, you know the models what's important so I for one don't care if the texture doesn't look very good um, but I think that's it for this uh, this series I think that completes it so um, I'll bundle all the files together. They'll be up on BlendSwap. There'll be links in the videos. Um, otherwise, I appreciate you watching if you made it this far, and I hope that you picked up some tips along the way. Um, thanks, guys.